Bill are laying the groundwork for the next stage of the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. The House approving an impeachment resolution with a partisan vote. Spectrum News Washington reporter Kevin Fry joins us with reaction from our North Carolina lawmakers. Kevin? From our North Carolina lawmakers. The resolution serves as a sort of guidebook for the next phase of the investigation into the president. All North Carolina's Democrats, all three of them in the U.S. House, voted in support. North Carolina's Republicans voted against. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. With a near party line vote, Democrats moved forward with their impeachment inquiry into the president. Democrat G.K. Butterfield called it a sad day for the country. We cannot continue to ignore this any longer. Uh, no person, including the president, is above the law. The resolution passed by the House outlines next steps in the impeachment probe. For weeks, House committees have heard testimony about the president's conduct in a private, secure room. The resolution sets the groundworks for how to move those hearings into public view. Republicans have long claimed the inquiry is not valid because the House did not vote to formalize the investigation. Democrats hope this undercuts that critique, though Butterfield said he ultimately does not believe the vote was necessary. The Constitution clearly gives Congress the absolute authority to, to investigate the president and to consider articles of impeachment. But Republicans argue the guidelines framed in the resolution are unfair and skewed against the president. I think it's a sham process. Uh, it has been from the beginning. It doesn't give real due process rights. It, it maintains the secret hearing in the basement of the Capitol rather than giving it to the Judiciary Committee like it's always done. So what's next? Under this plan, the House Judiciary Committee will eventually get to consider whether or not to draft articles of impeachment. The House would then have to approve them. If it gets over to the Senate side, it's there. They will act as a sort of jury to consider whether or not to remove the president. But again, we are in the early stages of this. Reporting on Capitol Hill, I'm Kevin Fry, Spectrum News. State lawmakers say